God we serve is a God who's high and lifted up. Amen. He is the only God. He's a great God. Everything else will fail you. I'm asking for two groups of people to come for prayer. I'm asking for those who will say, I don't know you, God, but I'm going to give you a chance. If you are re real, you're going to have to speak to me individually, and I'm going to ask you to come this side. I'm also asking for another group, because he's also said to me, he's a God who will not lie. For those who know they have promises from God, for them and their children, and they see that the enemy is trying to destroy those promises for them and their children and their children's children, thinking generationally, I need you to come on this side. So there's a prayer for those who know that there's been a blockage for them and their children, which will then affect their children's children. This is spiritual and natural, amen? But there's also another prayer for those who don't know Jesus as, as Lord. I'm going to ask my brother to come out. Sir, you've probably seen me with the glasses. I've got the same glasses like you. You're a mighty man of God. He's told me you're a mighty man of God. Can I pray for you, sir? I'm going to ask you. You're, you have free choice. I'm going to ask you if you can come and I can pray for you. Can I pray for you, sir? It will be a pleasure to pray for your life and strength. Can I do that, sir? That's your choice. Thank you, man of God. C come, come, up, come up right here. Brothers, can you join him, please, in support? Thank you. You're a leader amongst men. I look at you and I see a man of God. So what's your first name? I love you, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you for joining him. So join them, sir, because these are mighty men. As the men come up and just stand there, I'm going to pray over you. By the way, anybody else, women, join them. There's another group who know that there are things that have been blocked in their life. Marcus has made a move of faith which took a lot of courage. Amen? Amen. And the other brothers, bless you. Bless you. If you know that there's something in your life which hasn't been completed, and you know the enemy's trying to block you, I'm going to ask you to stand here because I know this word will not fall to the ground. He didn't wake me up at 6 o'clock this morning to give me a word that will fall to the ground. You heard the word. I can't speak a word. I am nothing. It's the Spirit of God that speaks through me. I don't know your life. I don't know your situation. All I know is what God says. Amen? Amen. I've got my own issues, but I run to the Word. Amen? Amen. All I do is run to the Word. Yes. Because without the Word, I can do nothing. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, your Word did not fall to the ground. Because he said, I'm not a man that I could lie. Yes. And he said, anybody who accuses him of being a man that he can lie will not receive his blessing. So I pour out with my heart. If you've heard this word today, and you know God is not a man, you know God is not a man. Men fail people. Women fail people. But God is not a man that he could die. He can't lie. He can't lie. He can't lie. If you know God can't lie, come to this altar. Oh my God, I don't know, Lord, why this word has come today. There must be a reason. Can we sing one more time as people decide if they want to come and receive this word? Blessed be. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Strong tower. The righteous run into him 
Hallelujah. Present. Now God's doing a new thing, amen? He's saving souls, amen? And he's setting people free, like me, who need to be set free, amen? Sister Jennifer Roberts, could you come and join me, please, up here, please? You're going to be praying for the women. Please come up and join me. I have the unction to pray over the men. Jenny, you must pray over the women, and Bishop must seal the prayer, amen? That's how God has given it to me. So I'm going to be obedient, amen? I have the unction to pray over the men, because God has called me, amen, to build men, amen? And he's called me to encourage men, amen? And I have an anointing for that. But I don't have an anointing for the women. So, Sister Jenny, you're going to pray over the women. And to seal it that it will be done, Bishop Wright, the apostle of this house, will order this. Amen? Let me pray and get out of the way for the men. Father, I know the word you spoke this morning. I know you're a God who does not lie. I know you're not a man. And I know you'll accomplish that which you've said. Lord, you see these men standing here. Marcus who came up, Lord. The other men, Lord Jesus. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask for life. I ask for life and an abundant life, Lord Jesus. I know, Lord, that you're speaking to them. I know the enemy has tried to destroy the men, Lord Jesus. I know, Lord, that they carry a heavy load. Lord, I realize, Lord, they have responsibilities. Lord, they have families, Lord Jesus, Lord. They have women, Lord. They have children, Lord, that you've set them as priests over. Even if they don't know it, Lord, they are the head, Lord Jesus, of their houses, Lord Jesus. They are priests. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, for their destiny. Lord Marcus, Lord, the other men who stand here, Lord, you know them all, regardless of age, regardless of situation. I pray in the name of Jesus for those who don't know you. I pray for salvation, the greatest gift of God, that they will ask of you, hallelujah, and they shall be saved because of the blood of Jesus. Lord, bless these men, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, that, Lord, your word, Lord Jesus, will be anchored in them, Lord. The enemy will not snatch it away, Lord Jesus, but this word, Lord Jesus, will be established, Lord, so they will be free. Lord, their children will be free. Lord, their wives will be free. Their partners will be free, Lord Jesus. Lord, and their destiny through their children's children shall be free. Lord, bless the men. I pray for salvation. I pray, Lord, that a priestly anointing will come on them once they've accepted you, Lord Jesus, because I realize salvation is the first step. Then, Holy Spirit, you can do a work. Lord, may these men come into this house again. May they seek you, Lord, in the highways and the byways, Lord Jesus. May they ask you in their quiet moments, if you're God, show yourself strong. And Lord, I know you'll show up. Thank you, Lord, for these leaders. Thank you for these men of destiny. In Jesus' mighty name. Sister Jen, for the women, then to overseer. Jesus, I thank you for everyone, God, who have not yet, Lord, confessed you as Lord and Savior. God and Father, I speak those things, Lord, that are not as though they are right now. On God and on their behalf, I decree and declare they are saved. God, because when you look at them, you don't see them as they are. You see Jesus Christ. You see your righteousness in every one of us, Father. And right now, God, I commit all of us as women before you in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you'll send forth your anointing and you'll anoint us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. God and Father, I thank you for salvation right now. I thank you for clarity to your word, God, that through the Holy Spirit that descended and came, oh God, will grant unto your daughters, oh God, Lord, that the spiritual understanding will be opened. God and Father, as they have listened to your word, as your servant has ministered the word, as they have listened, Spirit of God, I pray that you open their understanding. 
I pray you open the eyes of your understanding right now, God, that your word will fall upon good ground, and not only upon good ground, but you'll open the understanding that as they hear and as they understand, they'll begin to confess and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. God and Father, Lord, many have been, has been born, many have, Lord Jesus, died, but only Jesus Christ alone raised us from the dead. And as women cause them to understand that the first missionary was a woman, God, the first one who went to the word of God was a woman. When Mary went to the tomb and he wasn't there, she went back and said, he is risen. God, our responsibility is greater. As women, Lord, it is greater. Help us not to think of ourselves as second class citizens, but that these young women, God, as they stand before you this morning, this day, cause them to understand that they are virtuous women. They are virtuous women. God, and Father, you have so much tied up in them, so much invested in them, God. And today, God, and Father, I seal them with the Holy Spirit. I thank you for every creative gifting in them, God. I thank you as mothers, you have ordained them, you have anointed them. I thank you, God, as wives, God, as sisters, God, and Father, you have covered them. And right now, we thank you for the blessing. As a church, we say amen to your will. God, as a church, we say thank you for what you have done. We say thank you for what you are going to do. We thank you for yesterday. We thank you for today. And we also thank you for tomorrow. Father, be glorified right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.